Way back in August last year, Nathan and I both provided our predictions for the 2021-2022 championship season where each and every club would yeah. end up. Will this year be another improvement on the previous year? Probably not. We'll see. Well, in 2019-2020, Nathan, you had 19, I had 12. And then last year, we did improve on that where you had 34 points and I had 19 points. Uh, just to recap how we play this, five points for an exact yep. league position match. Three points if our league team is one position away and one point if our pick is two positions away. Anything else, yeah. of course, is zero points. Let's see if we can improve on last season. So first of all, we are gonna start with our relegation spots. Now, looking at mine, first of all, there's two good ones, and then look at the state of that third one there. So let's start off at the bottom. Peterborough United, I thought we were gonna finish bottom. They didn't, they finished 23rd, but I still pick a point on that, as well as they did finish two places out. Yeah, Peterborough, I thought they'd have a patchy season in places. In some parts, we thought they could maybe stay up as well, but towards the end of the season, they were absolutely dire, and they just fell down like a stone, unfortunately, and yeah, there was no doubt of them getting relegated. Then I had Derby County in 23rd place, absolutely smack bang on. Got to give credit to Derby, minus 21 points deduction. Wayne Rooney, I got to say, he's had a fantastic season there. Got them playing some great football at times as well. We actually thought at some point they'd stay up as well. And considering if they didn't have that points deduction, they'd be comfortably mid table as well. But that's what happens when. You have ownership problems like that, breaking FFP for the last few years. Um, we went on the last day of the season, we didn't did, we? Indeed, what an yes. atmosphere that was. It Check was that out on my channel. Bar the steward in, of course. Won't go on to that in this video. But you've got to give its credit to Derby in the end. Just very, very unlucky. Then, where do I start with this one? 22nd position, Huddersfield Town. A whopping 19 places out. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people did predict Huddersfield were going to go down this year. body was seduced by yeah. what everybody else was saying, but they had some decent players. Although Danny Ward yeah, scoring right. loads of goals for a change in the season. But they did have the likes of Zorba Thomas, who had a really good season. Absolutely, so. and um, their goalie as well, uh, Lee Nichols. Definitely the best keeper in the championship. Deservedly uh, got player of the season this year for them as well. But I think the main concern I had with Huddersfield this year was Carlos Cobran. He had a patchy year last year. Of course, the protege of uh, Marcelo Bielsa. I thought he was going to be found out and be sacked. Probably one of the first to go as well. But what a way he turned it round. So six points there. Not bad. Two out of three to go down. Well, for myself, very briefly on this one. Derby, I had them finishing bottom because of that massive yeah. points um, deduction. Finished uh, one place below, we thought. So there's a three points mm -hmm. there. Peterborough. Again, one position out there. Peterborough at times absolutely dire, but they at other times they put up a fight for it. They did, yeah. And of course the disaster, as you've already said, that is Huddersfield. I Town. believe that's our worst for the video as well. Possibly not the worst on this channel, though. <laughs> that's no, all I'll say. Of course Huddersfield finishing third, they're up against Nottingham Forest in that playoff final on the weekend. But uh, yeah, both of us 19 positions out. Next, we move on to the next little section where we go from 17th down to 21st. Blackpool, another bit of a disaster coming up from yeah. uh, Division 1 last season. They kind of held their own, played some good stuff uh, throughout the season. I was five positions out there, so zero points. Bristol City, only a few positions out. One, you know, I'm fairly pleased mm. with that prediction. Um, at times they look good and at times they look dire. Coventry, Coventry City this season had a really good start to the season. Yeah. A midsection sort of drifted away to the latter end of the season, but they, they had a de decent campaign finishing 12th, and I was seven positions out in that one, so that's a little bit embarrassing there. Yeah. Swansea, I thought they would struggle at times. They got a pretty decent strike force there, but. Um, a lot of the time, the, yeah. the, their style of play kind of let them down Hipster ball. in in Shocking some football. ways, and uh, they got found out by, by certain teams. Uh, whereas other times, they destroyed teams. Yeah. So, so it'd be fascinating to see how they get on next season. But I was three positions out there, so fairly decent there. And um, Preston North End, 
you know they're, they're a sort of part of the furniture aren't they yeah. in in the division sort of perennial they just knocking, exist knocking on much. the knocking on the doors of the the playoffs but this year it was sort of mid t- table obscurity for them and I had them four positions out so another zero for there for me there so we're currently on six points can I pick up that towards the end of this video yeah this section for me was vile as well Coventry I thought they were just about going to stay up coming up from League One but mm, they had a great well. first season in the championship didn't they I thought they made great use of uh, Victor Yorkerez he was at, he was an absolute lamppost at Swansea last season um, Callum O'Hare was absolutely phenomenal as well by far uh, one uh, yeah. of their better players of the season just superb and of course you can't forget Mark Robbins their manager yeah. as well from putting really it all well, together yeah. gelling it quality championship manager there be interesting to see if they can push into the playoffs next season. Blackpool, I thought, were just about to stay up as well. I, they were four out for me. They had a pretty solid season as well, didn't they? Played some good stuff at times as well. Neil Critchley getting a good first season in the championship for them. Decent mid-table finish. Hull City, bang on in 19th. Thought they wouldn't um, light up trees this year, but the main thing for Hull fans, which I'm really happy about, is they did get that takeover. So, in my opinion, for Hull, that is a successful season. Next up, Wurzel's one place out um, yeah finished 17th I actually had them 18th I'll take they're, that they're strike force so one of the best in the yeah. division for the amount of goals absolutely yeah. Andreas Wyman Three, was yeah. superb I won't mention what he did against us twice Austrian, Austrian international he well. is yes Nigel Pearson I thought he wasn't going to do much maybe get sacked since he hadn't got much out of the squad in particular from the season before but he seemed to do okay not sure if he's the type of manager to take them forward really but I just think Bristol City a lower championship at the moment really and then the disaster class that was Luton Town. Personally, I thought that the Nathan Jones era was pretty much over at Luton and he was just going to hibernate wow. them in the middle of the championship. But what a job he's done yeah, with that group playoffs. of players as well. Playoffs, superb. And I just wish we could have seen Kenilworth Road in the Premier League. That would have been quality. Need to watch where I'm going to predict them next season. So out of that lot, eight points, I'll take it up to 14. So moving on from 16th to 12th, I had the Jacks in 16th. They actually finished 15th, one position out. I will take that. And the fact I got absolutely hanged in the comments from that, saying my prediction was biased and everything. I'm here laughing. <laughs> because quite frankly one place out is actually very good for your rivals to be fair but yeah I don't even want to talk about them because I'm just going to be called salty at this point so anyway moving briefly on uh, then I had Preston North End two positions out they actually finished in 13th I had them in 15th another not bad position Preston as you said part of the furniture sort of just exist in the league at the moment had some good moments grinded out some results and yeah or I'd say it was quite a successful season for Preston really then another big mistake Birmingham City I had in 14th they actually finished in 20th just about staying up towards the end of the season they were absolutely rubbish for me I don't think any blame has got to go on Lee Boyer it is literally just the squad that they have uh, like a little bit closer to home just not good enough really he's trying his best to get anything out of the players but he just can't and respect to the Birmingham fans as well for taking great numbers all the time everywhere and protesting against those shocking owners so yeah I'll take that then in 13th I had Reading did end up getting a points deduction 8 places out they actually just about stayed up in 21st a lot of time of the season we actually thought they were going to go down Paunovic was ultimately sacked yeah, midway through the season they got decent players and whether they're going to stick around yeah. next season with the Royals I don't know yeah. probably not not. To be fair, they did sign a lot of free transfers as well. I believe they mm. got the likes of Andy Carroll, Junior Hoyler, Danny Drinkwater, loads of veterans. Just the case again, it gelled together and that age is showing in that squad. And I don't know how, but Paul Ince is doing something there and he's been offered a contract. He might be the first one of the first ones to go next season. And then in 12th position, I had Millwall. Uh, three places uh, out on that one. They actually finished ninth. Very good season for Millwall. I thought that Gary Rowett's getting, a, getting something good out of that squad. Maybe Maybe a few more additions um, in the summer to push up a little bit more but yeah quite a good season for Millwall I'd say sort of where yeah, people were expecting them so I think that one point to add on there 18. So my 16th to a 12 whole city three positions out there not too bad you could say then Barnsley a bit of a disaster a load of people tipping them at the start of the yeah. season to do well because the previous season they were in the playoffs playing good football but uh, yeah, yeah not a very good season for Barnsley shocking. and absolutely shocking because they actually finished rock bottom in the end yep. Toodaloo Barnsley are in Division 1 <laughs> they've got Reading another bit of a disaster on my prediction there finished just above the uh, 
relegation zone okay they did have that points deduction Birmingham City I'm expecting a little bit better from Birmingham at the start of the season because they recruited there was a lot of young players yeah. and they, the previous season to that they they actually ended that campaign quite well they however did. they didn't carry it on into this semester so uh, how are they going to perform next season it all depends on the recruitment I think they'll be in a relegation battle next possibly year possibly and their youngsters They've got another year's experience, though, behind them. We'll, we'll, we'll see what Owners happens there. The and Luton Town was six positions out there. I thought they'd do OK, but uh, I think they blew everybody out of the water. They had a load of injuries coming towards the end of the season. Too, but they uh, they carried on and they th did their fans proud. So moving on to the next section, which is 11th through to 7th in 11th position, I had Millwall, which is only a couple of places out there where they finished mm -hmm. in ninth, so fairly decent with that, and they get a point for that. Blackburn Rovers again started off the season really well, yeah. scoring lots of goals. I think they missed Gallagher this year, who went to Crystal Palace, of course, um, but they did have, was it uh, Diaz? Barrett and Diaz, knocking the ball scoring the the net at the start life, of the yeah. season, but then he, uh, he got injured, didn't he? Uh, only two positions out there, so another point there. Stoke City, uh, started the season really well, but drifted, went down. They were tough to play against at times, but five positions out there. Then Cardiff City, <sighs> big expect- Where do we start? Well, big expectations at the start of the season. Uh, Mick McCarthy started Disgrace. off. It, actually, at the start of the season, it wasn't too bad because the previous season they did well, but um, it just wasn't to be in the end. And Cardiff finished in 18th position, but Steve Morrison turning um, turning them around because Cardiff could have been relegated yeah. if it wasn't for him and sort of the bringing through of the youth players. But you've got to say that Mick McCarthy did bring them through and give them a chance as well. And then Middlesbrough. Slap bang on that one, came away with five points, had them finish in seventh, and that is where they finished. Yep. So that moves me up now to 13 points. So moving on to my 11th to 7th, I had Stoke in 11th, uh, they were actually three places out, finished 14th, Fort Michael O'Neill, he do an alright job with that squad, mm -hmm. sort of get the mid-table defensive football, and yeah, I didn't like the too, too many trees, they had some alright moments, but yeah, just a bang average mid-table finish for them. Then the disaster class that was Barnsley, I don't know why a lot of people saw the red flags in Ishmael leaving, bringing in Schlopp, who was very quickly uh, chucked out the door, and also Alex Mowat leaving even as well Colly Woodrow did not have a good season either he scored a he, couple of goals he started but, off quite well didn't he I think he was yeah. a captain as well I think I'm sure he, he was, was captain but it's just losing that structure in midfield just completely capitulated Barnsley so 14th out they finished bottom shocking season for them then Blackburn Rovers one place out they actually finished in 8th I had them in ninth. a lot of people were saying they put Blackburn a little bit too high uh, losing Adam Armstrong especially at the start of the season but as you said Bereton Diaz come into his own Bradley Dak coming in briefly at times yeah. as well Giles on a good loan deal as well though he didn't have a good uh, yeah, campaign he didn't have, there didn't have a good second half to the season but however but I'd say that was a good season for Blackburn something good to build on Tony Mowbray of course out the door at the end of the year to see who they uh, get in next season uh, then I had Middlesbrough in 8th they actually finished in 7th so that's another couple of points Warnock finally retiring not sure yeah. how long it is welcome to Warnock Mister. welcome to Twitter Mr Warnock I should say never thought I'd be saying that one Chris Wilder comes in pushes them up the table a little bit need to build that consistency and get that squad going and they be on to something and then I had West Brom in seventh now who remembers back last back in August last year when I got absolutely hounded for saying that West Brom weren't going to make the playoffs and they were going to do what they always do get relegated and spend a year outside the top six and not go back up straight away well I was absolutely right on that one Ishmael at the door trumpet blowing yes we had Ishmael at the door they had, they signed some all right players as well it just wasn't gelling at times uh, bringing in Steve Bruce and that's all you need to know so moving on to my playoff places and one is quite striking so I had Cardiff City in 6th they actually finished in 18th where do I start with this season quite frankly well I think that would probably be for another video if you're going to have a, a long yes. rant 
but but we'll, it we'll was just a disaster, but then it was yeah. turned around I thought, a little so. bit um, so where do I start with the disaster McCarthy losing eight games in a row club record out the door goodbye players with attitudes that absolutely stank at times as well well some of them but not yeah, all of them so, I think. so we won't name names on this channel but yeah they were quickly frozen out of the side losing twice to Bristol City losing twice to Swansea first ever time that's happened with players who just could not be bothered in either games absolute disgrace I think every Cardiff fan was disgusted about that which rightly so um, and yeah what an absolute disgrace of a season we'll swiftly move on before I go on all day then I had Nottingham Forest in fifth now at the start of the season I was like why on earth did I say they were going to finish fifth when they in the end they actually finished fourth but I was like why did I give that prediction when they were 24th at the time Hewen out the door very very swiftly Steve Cooper comes in and up the table they go straight into the playoffs um, Jed Spence is one you've got to really high, highlight out absolutely and super on low as well I know from Middlesbrough which makes it even crazier absolutely superb season from him they have all the foundations they got on playing what a season for Nottingham Forest I hope they go up in fourth position I had Sheffield United they actually finished fifth now I was quite hesitant with Sheffield United because coming down they did bring in Savicio Hanovic who defensively is very suspect and he completely and they brought him in to completely reverse the philosophy of Sheffield United they used to be strong at the back playing the overlapping centre backs under Wilder whereas someone like Ihanovic isn't great defensively but is fantastic going forward and keeping the possession he was quickly found out early on they were mid-table sacked straight away brings back Paul Heckingbottom the uh, Hibernian flop um, and he actually guides him into the playoffs under 21 just, manager or something like that as well he was and he was interim last year in the Prem he sort of turns it round at times didn't think they'd reach the playoffs and then they did go, uh, bow out to Nottingham Forest but they have the foundations there it's just the case of getting them up the table and then in third place I had Bournemouth I was actually one place out uh, they actually finished second great a great structure there as well bringing in Scott Parker they actually signed the likes of Kiefer Moore as well from us um, and yeah Solanke was scoring goals Philip Billing was pretty good as well and yeah great well, season Moore us. when he would introduce the end of the season yeah. he actually played he was injured he got injured was it in the first, first day yeah. game and then he actually uh, netted the goals that got them up exactly yeah, what a sign in that was in the end I bet he was worth every single pound but yeah great performance by Bournemouth this year they finished second and I also taken over nine points from that 33 points got three of the four in the playoffs i'll take it fantastic so my top four you can see it on the screen there at sheffield united just one position out there uh, started off yep. quite average really feeling their feet again in the championship finishing six so just the one place out three points qpr at times they looked really really good but uh, ultimately they slipped down sort of ran out of steam yeah um, in that final third of the season didn't they slipped down to 11th i was six positions out there not in the forest as you say under Chris Chris Houghton absolute disaster but they turned it around and I actually had them bang on in fourth position I think a, a number of people are actually tipping them to go yeah. straight up because uh, Houghton in the championship does fairly well but uh, not with Forrest and in third position surprisingly you could say I did have Fulham they spent a lot of money a they lot did, of quality yeah. in their ranks like so Harry Wilson coming in there but uh, ultimately I had them in third position two positions out and one point overall so we move on to our top two uh, teams in division in second position I had Bournemouth another one where I was slap bang on the money yeah so get five points for that one yeah as you said a lot of goals going in there I think a little bit more consistency you know I think it was towards the end of yeah. the season and they could have actually taken top spot if they would have held their nerves but uh, yeah a bit of sloppiness in defense and cost them a few of those games that's and gonna top, struggle yeah. next year as well and top of the table I had West Bromwich <laughs> Albion a lot of people myself included were sucked into uh, of, you know their recruitment and what they had there and the, the Ishmael hype and the sort of the the yo-yoing between you could say at times between the Premier League and the Championship but ultimately they finished in ninth position so I was way out there so I end the season on 27 points yep. which is an improvement on last season and an improvement on the 2019-2020 season I'm happy that I've improved I'm not happy 
that. I think you've beaten me, Nathan. By a mile as well, yes. So, second place, I had QPR. They actually finished in 11th. A lot of hype around QPR at the start of the year. They had... Uh, they had the structure to move on. Ilias Chair, everyone was thought was going to have another great season. Charlie Austin returning to the club after some great spells as well. But I, I don't know what happened with QPI. It just seemed to just fall apart at times. They lost the consistency a little bit. Um, formed in quite a, well in a mid-table position. And Warburton is going to be out the door um, at the end of the season. wonder how they're going to build on from that. So yeah, nine out. And then top of the shops, I had Fulham in, didn't I? I mean, you can't not put them in first place with the amount of money they spent bringing in the likes of Harry Wilson uh, Necker Williams as well who had a great campaign and yeah Mitrovic he was like a one goal a game on you, which well, is just it, ridiculous it, the record goal scorer I think in the championship I yeah that's correct yep yeah, so that's another five points for me and that's 38 points 38 that is superb points. and you've improved year on year as well if yeah. you keep on improving maybe in the in a decade's time we'll have the perfect score <laughs> never I'd say in the championship but that concludes our sort of roundup for the 2021-2022 championship season an amazing campaign from a lot of clubs disaster from another you've yeah. won the predictions Nathan let us know how you got on with your predictions for the season using our scoring system remember five points for a perfect position three points if you're one position out and just the one point if you're three places out leave your results in the comment section mm -hmm. and we'll read them have a chuckle yeah. or um, congratulate you if you did really well but uh, we've also got a premier league around video coming yep. out fairly soon as well we'll see if i can this one's even worse yeah well i can see mm -hmm. if i can get above you in yep. that one but for now nathan is there anything you'd like to add before we go if you've got any vlogs coming out soon so it's my channel link in the description below wales vlogs out very soon for that massive one against scotland or ukraine hope Hopefully it will be either or, as long yeah. as we win, that's it. But uh, thanks for joining us once again, we'll see you all in the next video. Cheers. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always.